Welcome everyone. This is Mike from ZozoStockWatch.com. Just wanted to wish you a happy new year as we get into the first video for the new year. And let's go ahead and get right into it. Uh, offerings that came out after hours courtesy of the uh, trade exchange. This is offerings after hours from December 29th, Friday, uh, APTO, ASMB, KDMN, KCASC, CBAY, 200 million there, NVAX, uh, REPH and ONTX, 15 million on ONTX, and that's courtesy of the trade exchange. Uh, some other news that came out over the uh, New Year's weekend, we had North Korea leader says nuclear launch button on his desk. Uh, North Korea leader uh, declares completion of nuclear force. So we still have uh, North Korea on our plates for uh, 2018, unfortunately. Uh, some top insider purchases after hours from Friday, MERC, IT. R-I-T-H-P-S. So those are some of your top purchases uh, for uh, after hours from Friday. All right, let's go ahead and get into the next uh, bit of economic information that we come, have coming out for the first week of the new year. Uh, markets obviously closed for Monday when I'm doing this video, but we do have uh, PMI information uh, coming out from China uh, this evening at 8.45 uh, p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, for tomorrow, Tuesday, we have 9.45 PMI manufacturing, and that's from the United States. United States, excuse me. Um, for Wednesday the 3rd, we have motor vehicle sales, uh, we have MBA mortgage applications. Uh, the main thing for Wednesday, January 3rd, is the uh, 2 p.m. FOMC uh, minutes, and then we also have the API crude oil data coming out at 4.30 Eastern Time p.m., and some numbers numbers coming out from uh, China and Japan on uh, Wednesday night. Uh, we have on Thursday uh, the usual uh, economic information, initial jobless claims, uh, ADP uh, employment report at 8.15. And when you see that the ADP employment uh, report is coming out, that means that on Friday uh, we'll be having the uh, employment situation, and that'll be 8.30 Friday. And uh, we do have some Fed speak coming out uh, this week. We have uh, James Bullard at 1.30 on Thursday, and then we have... Have, uh, some Fed speak on Friday uh, coming out. Now I expect this week to be uh, a little bit to, to the sluggish side. Uh, you might get the first couple hours if you're a day trader like I am uh, to get some trading uh, in the books this week. We'll have to see uh, if we're going to get follow through on plays uh, for day trading. And my service also does swing trading. So we're going to have to see what uh, sectors the market wants to uh, rotate in. Um, I would imagine, you know, if the uh, dollar, and we'll get more into this as the video goes on, but if the dollar uh, stays uh, weak, uh, then, you know, the materials and the gold names might continue uh, with their move up. But we'll get more into that in the video in a moment. So there's your economic information uh, coming out. This is a great calendar by the uh, Trade Exchange, courtesy of the Trade Exchange. Uh, and you can get on their mailing list and check out this calendar for economic events uh, coming up. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the call activity courtesy of the Trade Exchange. Uh, for call activity, unusual call activity, we had SLCA, MU, TEVA, COG, THC, AXON for unusual call activity to the put side, uh, unusual put activity in KERX, Triple D, uh, WSM and FGP for unusual uh, put activity. Uh, for our top gainers for the trading day from Friday, ATRA, QIWI, TVO, TEUM, UCTT, CEA, uh, JAKK, I believe their uh, CEO is uh, leaving here, SIFY, AMCN, RSLS, and uh, Kang. To the losing side, we have BCEI, ATAI, Under Armour, uh, NYNY, CANF, AKTX, ACH, RRC, CLAC, NVIDIA, RENN, and Amazon was down after Donald Trump uh, tweeted out that the uh, post office wasn't charging enough for Amazon using the services of the post office, so Amazon moved down on that. 
Uh, for our earnings uh, this week, we do have earnings come some earnings coming out uh, later in the week. They start on uh, Wednesday. Uh, this week, uh, the first couple of days, market closed here Monday, and then uh, no earnings this Tuesday. But then Wednesday, we do have some earnings coming out, uh, Rite Aid, RAD, the symbol there. Uh, and then we move into uh, later on, SONC, Sonic, uh, restaurant uh, stock there. And uh, let me see what else do we have. Bear with me one second. Um, so we have um, for uh, Wednesday, January 3rd, we have Z Lab, Z L A B. Uh, that's going to be before the open uh, N E O G, Neogen. Uh, that'll be before the open. And U N F, uh, symbol there for Unifirst. Uh, that'll be in the morning. I also have a CMC, uh, Commercial Metals, uh, listed. Uh, for earnings on uh, Wednesday before the open. So CMC might be one that's reporting. Um, after the close, we have uh, symbols LNDC. We have uh, RMAX, uh, REMAX Holdings, RECN, and then, like I said, Rite Aid, which is RAD. Uh, for Thursday, January 4th, we have ANGO before the bell, LW, uh, Monsanto, MON, uh, Walgreens Boots Alliance, WBA, and that's Thursday before the bell, RPM, also a uh, symbol there, RPM. Uh, after the close on uh, Thursday, we have FC, PM, PSMT, sorry, PSMT, uh, which is Price Smart. Uh, and Sonic, S-O-N-C symbol there. For Friday, uh, we have uh, AZZ, uh, Calmine Foods which is C-A-L-M, Constellation Brands, S-T-Z, and uh, G-B-X, uh, which is Greenbrier, which I believe is a uh, railroad, G-B-X symbol there. All right, so that's uh, some of your earnings coming out uh, starting Wednesday and then into Friday for next week. So let's go ahead and uh, look at a few markets and some of the action on Friday. Now, it was a very light volume week, as you can see with the SPY here, uh, the very tight ranges and the low volume into the holiday week. I would expect more of this kind of action, I would think, some sideways, you know, low range type of days uh, until we, you know, traders get back at their desk and more people come back from, you know, their holidays and whatnot. But Friday, we did have this move down, uh, maybe some folks taking profits uh, into 2018, selling in the last uh, few hours there. Uh, of the market close uh, 96 million shares so you know light volume uh, for the spy so I'm not going to make too big of a deal of it uh, right now we'll have to see you know how the futures open up on uh, you know Monday night uh, going into Tuesday and uh, see if there's any type of uh, follow through here uh, next up, we'll take a look at the IWM, and as you can see, we pulled back from the resistance spot here on the IWM of about 155 area. We'll look at it on the weekly. Uh, for the weekly, for the IWM, we're still above the 10 SMA, the light blue line. This is the weekly chart you're looking at, and I'll show you the uh, weekly chart of the SPY. So, you know, not too much damage. We're still above the 10 SMA. We've just broken out. We've had this strong move up. You know, you would imagine there's going to be a little bit of uh, pullback maybe to retest this 10 SMA is possible uh, on the weekly chart for the SPY so we'll have to see uh, you know what kind of continuation candle and like I said what the futures uh, have in store for us for tonight so um, all to be determined I guess as we feel our way into the uh, new year of 2018 to see which sectors we want to swing trade and what stocks we want to play uh, but for now we'll just take it day by day uh, each day gives us a little more of a clue as to uh, what the big money wants to do with their money and then we kind of uh, follow uh, their lead all right so um, we'll also look at uh, Nat gas which had a, a nice pop going into the uh, new year uh, kind of up here UNG up here at the 50 SMA currently uh, oil had a very good end to the new year uh, popping up over $12 on oil and if we look at the uh, 
light sweet crude WTI oil uh, looks like it's starting to break out and holding above that $60 a barrel uh, number and I was talking about the uh, the dollar and as the dollar gets weak uh, it's better for commodities right as dollar gets weak oil should move up uh, gold GLD should have possibly a continuation move although I didn't like this uh, candle Friday but you know we've had a nice run from uh, 117 all the way up to about that 124 and change uh, area it is a, a recent uh, high back here uh, in gold we'll see if the uh, gold bulls can uh, push us up through that 124 level but you know with the dollar moving down that should help uh, gold and uh, gold related uh, stocks uh, we'll have to see for the new year if more volatility is going to come into the market as you can see on this uh, daily chart that I'm looking at you see this nine spot a little bit below it but most of the time hanging around the VIX at this nine spot and we've have turned up off of this nine dollar area for the VIX and uh, as you can see the VIX was uh, climbing a bit on uh, Friday so we'll have to see how that Korea news uh, North Korea news will affect the markets uh, for you know the opening of the futures and uh, for the uh, I guess for this year of 2018 will that be resolved with North Korea and how will that be resolved and uh, that could bring volatility into the markets uh, however that's uh, decided and uh, also how will this affect the relationships with uh, with our relationship with China and um, and uh, you know Japan South Korea what's going to happen there um, so here's the VIX and uh, we are bouncing off this nine area uh, let's see if we're gonna get more volatility like I said in the uh, markets um, let's check out some other uh, the OIH trying to get up over this 26 and hold over 26 the uh, oil services sector and that's uh, such names as uh, Halliburton um, we also have a uh, Schlumberger which is the um, a big component of the uh, OIH right now still unable to get over 68 and this 200 SMA for Schlumberger and uh, rig you know having a nice close into the uh, uh, 2017 but still resistance up here around this uh, $11 area for rig so we'll see how that's going to play out with the uh, OIH the uh, refiners this year had very nice moves uh, let's see PSX uh, Phillips 66 HFC so all very nice moves in the refiners there um, so we'll see uh, if they're gonna pull back uh, and what I know is going to happen with some of these big moves in these refining names. Uh, we'll look at transports, IYT coming up against uh, resistance here around that 195 uh, spot for uh, IYT. Also with the uh, weekly chart, you see that 195 level, uh, but we've had a beautiful push up on the uh, IYT and that makes us look at you know the Dow Jones 30 which has continued to uh, climb a little couple of topping uh, shadows here around this uh, 25,000 uh, level I guess that's to be expected and you see the um, movement here's our uh, 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 pre and post market chart uh, from Friday and you see the sell off in the uh, Dow and the spy uh, was selling off into the close there uh, on Friday so we'll see if this is going to continue will the bull show up and and uh, how it's going to play out on this uh, you would think lower volume uh, week ahead uh, coming up in the uh, market so we'll have to see how that plays out uh, next we'll look at the uh, IWC which is is the uh, micro caps uh, trying to get up over this uh, 97 9750 on this weekly chart here's the daily and once again you see that kind of engulfing candle of the previous day's action here very tight range but then we get this engulfing candle so we'll check and see what the continuation is going to be there um, we also will look at um, the Q's kind of same thing. Q's came up to this uh, 160, I'm sorry, 159 spot, 159 spot on the Q's. That's been resistance right now. We're kind of in the middle of this range on the Q's. And here's the uh, weekly uh, for the Q's holding above the 10 SMA currently on the QQQ. SMH, uh, you know, 
Dow down below the 10 SMA on the uh, weekly chart here on the SMH. So the SMH is, has been showing some weakness here on the uh, daily chart, SMH below the 50 SMA, such names, you know, NVIDIA uh, below the 50 SMA, Intel uh, kind of in the middle of its range here. Uh, Texas Instruments uh, has been remaining strong up at that 105 spot, AMAT, uh, kind of rolling over here a bit on AMAT and then XLNX, which has had a lot of uh, takeover chatter around it, uh, still remains under the 50 SMA on XLNX. Um, also now we'll take a look at um, silver. All right, we'll go into silver a little bit. Uh, we had this nice pop of 1475 all the way up to about that $16 area. Nice run for silver, trying to maintain uh, this 200 SMA uh, on silver. All right, so uh, we'll see what silver, where that wants to take us. Also, uh, GDX, uh, nice pop here. Uh, same thing, and like I said, with the UUP coming down, that might help uh, some of these uh, gold names like uh, any. M, uh, GG, RGLD, R Gold, um, and ABX uh, might start coming back to uh, life for uh, uh, 2018. Um, let's go ahead and look at uh, some of the best stocks and worst stocks uh, for the week, and we'll go to our weekly chart for that. And uh, first one up. Uh, is this uh, WATT Watt? Uh, they had a big pop uh, the last week of uh, 2017, up 106% for the week. But there's been a lot of insider uh, selling now. I mean, who could blame them on this big pop? And you know, their their uh, technology may be in just the uh, new stages uh, of development here. It's no guarantees. I believe what they do is uh, powering cell phones uh, through towers and whatnot so we'll have to see this could be very much in the infancy this type of technology so as you can imagine after this big pop uh, a lot of the insiders were selling in uh, WATT and uh, a lot of folks that made a nice profit also selling in that so we'll see how that's going to play out for next week also KOOS I'm sorry, KOSS, -S, excuse me, up 106% uh, for the week. Uh, Galt also popped 43% uh, for the week. INSY, uh, this stock was up 37% for the week. FATE, uh, nice pop, 21% in uh, FATE. GCAP, uh, big pop, one of these blockchain stocks up 31% uh, for the week. IGC, a uh, big winner, uh, up 41%. TEUM, 50% uh, gainer. YUME, also a nice gainer for 31%. CCCL, Triple CL, 28%. Uh, winner VTVT nice gainer up 36% uh, for the week there uh, DQ uh, which is an oil uh, I'm sorry semi uh, conductor name sorry uh, semiconductor name uh, kind of bucked the trend here up 17% uh, for the week uh, semiconductor name so keep this one on watch uh, may have some continuation here's the daily on it seems a little stretched right now but maybe uh, pullbacks it might be work into a nice swing trade there on DQ so we'll keep an eye on that big pop there uh, next we had uh, edit uh, biotech name uh, a nice 15% gainer uh, HCM up 16%. UNG, as we mentioned, was up uh, 13% going into the close of 2017. UGAS, uh, big pop there, up 43% on uh, UGAS. Uh, CASA, 13% uh, gainer. TCCO, I believe this was halted uh, on Friday. News pending. Uh, didn't see what news came out, though, but up 50% for the week. But uh, halted Friday. Uh, news pending. Haven't seen the news that came out on this TCCO, so keep that in mind on that one. MRNS, 4% uh, gainer there. And GRVY. Uh, gave a nice 14% gain uh, for the week last week. RDFN, a recent uh, IPO, 15% uh, pop. PRTY, um, up 14%. SFIX, uh, nice pop, 11%. 
F-I-N-L, uh, one of the ones that uh, up 10% in that space uh, last uh, week uh, for the uh, shoe uh, finish line, the shoe store. Um, we had uh, Foot Locker uh, was down 2%, Nike uh, down 3%, uh, UAA Under Armour down 7%, but uh, finish line, uh, re- you know, going against the trend there for the week up uh, 10% on uh, finish line. BOMN, big pop in this one, up uh, 32%, XNet uh, blockchain stock up 15% for the week, uh, ATRA, uh, nice biotech pop, 17% gainer. And then uh, lastly, RGSE, a uh, solar name, uh, popped 11% for the week that uh, passed. Uh, some of your worst stocks for the week, AGRX uh, got clobbered down uh, 43%. DPW uh, down four, 34%. VLRX also took a, a hit down 28%. VLRX CUR. Uh, biotech name down uh, 12% for the week. OHGI, which had a big pop, but down another 18%. RETO, uh, recent IPO down uh, 18% for the week. PYDS, one of these blockchain stocks, uh, down 13%. MARA, uh, another blockchain down 16%. SSC for the week down 13%. Uh, OTIV. Uh, took a hit of 19% AMCN, a hit of uh, 34% there on AMCN. Uh, DCIX, shipper, uh, was down 15% uh, last week. Uh, MPX, also uh, recreational vehicles, took a 14% hit. Uh, Fizz, a soda beverage company, took a 6% hit. Tesla was down 6% last week. Um, restoration hardware down 14% for the week. ADTN also uh, took a hit uh, down 15%. I believe they lowered uh, guidance, so that stock took a 15% hit. AAOI, uh, weak stock, staying weaker, uh, down uh, triple sixes on uh, AAOI. Uh, ZAGG. Uh, Zag down 7%, SIEB also took a hit last week, down 26%. And lastly, NETE, another one of the uh, blockchain stocks, uh, down 41% uh, for the week last week. So that's some of your worst stocks uh, in the last week of uh, 2017. So after this, we'll go ahead and get into our watch list uh, for the week ahead and for uh, Tuesday. Um, but first, before I do that, I just want to let you know that I am running a holiday promotion, uh, $30 for 30 days. You can come try my room for $30 for 30 days. You get all access to everything that a regular member would have um, for this special. Okay, so it's $30 for the first 30 days. And um, hope you'll come try us out at zozostockwatch.com. You'll have access to the private Twitter feed. Um, you'll have access to the screen share, the Omnovia room, everything that a regular member has, you'll have uh, in this holiday promotion from Zozo Stock Watch. Alerts before they trigger, $30 for 30 days. Come check out our service. I think you're going to really like our service. We do day trading and swing trading. And before we get into our watch list, we'll, we'll just take a quick look at some of the uh, larger names, see how they fared going into uh, 2018. Uh, Apple, after getting up to about that 177 mark, rolled over, hanging around the 50 SMA. Uh, Facebook also uh, pulling back from recent highs here. But uh, currently holding um, above this uh, support level here of 174. So we'll have to keep an eye on that for uh, Facebook, Amazon, uh, you know, trying to get uh, back over this resistance spot here. But pulling back like a lot of stocks did on um, Friday and after the Donald Trump, uh, President Trump comments, uh, it did pull back there on uh, Amazon, uh, Google. Uh, has been uh, pulling back uh, from the recent highs. Right now, currently sitting on the 20 SMA on the uh, daily chart. If we look at this on the uh, weekly chart, though, we're still above the 10 SMA on Google, Amazon, uh, still above the 10 SMA. Apple, I believe we're below it. Yeah, we're below it on uh, Apple on the 10 SMA. Uh, we'll take a look at uh, NVIDIA on the uh, on the weekly here, and that's at the 20 SMA on the weekly. 
weekly. If we look at it on the daily, we remain below the uh, 50 SMA for NVIDIA. I guess we'll look at uh, Tesla uh, on the daily and the weekly here coming up to this support area around that 300 mark. Uh, for the weekly, we're below the 10 SMA, just currently breaking uh, below the 50 and the 10 SMA on the weekly for Tesla. Uh, and then uh, Netflix, last one of the bigger names we'll look at on the uh, weekly chart trying to hold this uh, trend line here for Netflix and trying to get back over the 10 SMA for Netflix if we look at it on the daily real quickly here you can see the trend line uh, we did bounce off of that here uh, but some topping tails here at this uh, 195 area but trying to stay above the 50 SMA for uh, Netflix all right some stocks I'm gonna have on watch for uh, Tuesday um, it will be one uh, will be ADOM, uh, you know, volume about 400,000 shares, but holding above the 50 SMA here. Uh, the high for uh, Friday was $4.64. So for me, I'll keep an eye on this, see if it can get over that uh, 475 mark. We'll see how it sets up uh, intraday there. Uh, ATRA, a big pop in this name, 5.8 million shares, uh, popped all the way up to uh, $22. Uh, we'll see how this sets up uh, intraday. Uh, triple CL. Now this one can be spready uh, during the day, so uh, it's a it's a lower volume stock as you can see here. Uh, only uh, about 400,000 shares traded. Uh, it pops, it pulls back, so it's not a favorite. But uh, it is getting some buying here. We'll see if that wants to set up uh, intraday. Uh, CLLS. Uh, a biotech name kind of basing here uh, needs to get over you know maybe 29.85 uh, possible swing trade but it is a biotech so you can't swing trade this too big uh, but maybe an intraday type of trade in CLLS. Uh, we'll see. CLNT uh, chart is looking okay, holding above the 10, holding above the 5 EMA. Uh, volume only about 300,000 shares, though, so a little bit negative there. DMPI. Um, Sorry for all these lines here, but we are at about that 109, 110 area, uh, 1.5 million shares traded Friday. Uh, looking for a continuation move in DMPI. GBR, uh, an oil game, uh, oil uh, name, uh, possibly a 160 break, holding above this 150 currently. Uh, we'll see if it can take out the highs, maybe uh, 162 from Friday. Uh, volume, though, very light, 54,000 shares, so that's a negative. GPK, possible swing trade here. Uh, if it can take out maybe the highs from Friday, uh, 1555, possible swing trade uh, in this name, consolidating, breaking out of the wedge here, 1.5 million shares. So keep that one watch for a possible swing. Uh, GST. Uh, trying to get above and hold above this 110, 112 spot. Uh, you see the high uh, resistance there at uh, 114. So maybe if this gets back above uh, 112, we might get a continuation move. Another small little oil name, 2.5 million shares traded there. Uh, HMNY, we got a beautiful trade uh, last week in this, uh, but now kind of just staying within this range uh, right now on HMNY, uh, 10 million shares uh, Friday. So not a great looking candle Friday, but a beautiful candle when we were playing it on uh, Thursday here. So I'll keep this one on watch. We'll see. Uh, ICE, possible swing trade if it takes out $71. Uh, IP, international paper. Uh, Another one that if it can get over maybe 58 uh, or the highs, 58.25 from Friday, uh, 1.6 million shares. Uh, IZEA, uh, this one will be on watch for intraday play. We had a high on Friday, 4.55. Uh, volume was a little bit light, though, so we'll see. Maybe it needs to get over this 4.70 IZEA. J-O-N-E, another small oil name, trying to get up over the 50 SMA, the blue line here. Um, at 1.1 million shares on Joan, Jones uh, Energy. Uh, Kang, K-A-N-G, uh, trying to get up over this $16 area. Uh, volume a little bit light, though, so not a favorite. Koss, uh, big pop on Friday. Uh, so looking for maybe some kind of intraday setup, 12.4 million shares, K-O-S-S. Possible swing trade here in uh, L B T. 
LBTYK, LBTYK. Uh, if you can get over uh, this recent high back here, 3420, uh, keep an eye on this one, chart kind of flagging out here, 1.9 million shares there, we'll see. LGCY, a nice pop, a small oil name, we'll see if there's any kind of setup in that one, MICT. Uh, this one trying to get back over maybe uh, the highs from Friday, which were $1.13, $1.15. We'll watch this one intraday. Light volume, though, uh, Friday on that name, only 122,000 shares. Uh, NOV, possible swing trade in this name, NOV, energy name. And are also a possible swing trade for me. It would have to get up over, you know, nine dollars a share though to get really interesting uh, on this uh, oil name. So we'll see. Uh, NRG uh, basing here, trying to take out, uh, you know, 29 area. 28.77 was the high from Friday. Possible swing trade in uh, this name, NRG. PGNX, a uh, big pop on Friday. We'll see if this wants to set up uh, intraday. PGNX, PNR, uh, also possible swing trade in that name. Uh, RKDA, uh, you know, this is in an ag name, a small little name, under 50 cents, starting to turn the corner here. If you're into these uh, smaller names, these under 50 cent names, uh, you might want to check out RKDA, SAEX, uh, another oil name that popped, kind of pulling back, but holding above the 50 SMA on this oil name. So we'll see, SGLB. Uh, this one had a big pop, uh, you know, one of these blockchain names. Now we've pulled back one, two, three, four days in a row. We're down here at the 10 SMA, the 13 uh, EMA here. Uh, we'll see if there's any type of reversal intraday for that one. TEUM, also another uh, blockchain name, trying to get back over 225. Uh, we actually traded this one on Friday and got a decent trade on TEUM. TRCH, small oil name, uh, trying to get over the highs maybe from Friday 135, 140 area. Uh, the volume, uh, 300,000 shares. So expanding volume here. Uh, you might want to keep that one on watch uh, UEPS another one of these blockchain sto stocks trying to break out of this or actually breaking out of this consolidation broke out pulled back uh, but hold held above the uh, consolidation so keep your eye on this one 1.3 million shares there VCEL another one you might want to watch over maybe 550 560 on VCEL VSLR uh, you know uh, volume 300,000 shares a solar name kind of basing here uh, thinking you know it's holding over this 200 uh, SMA uh, RGSE made a, a move last week so that's a solar name so maybe this FSLR uh, wants to uh, you know start moving up we'll see X at XIN uh, China name uh, supposed to be blockchain connected also watch that break of uh, seven possibly xin xnet uh, another blockchain friday uh, had a big move up uh, into the close on friday so you see this 16 level of resistance there in the after hours on friday so we'll see how this is going to play out uh, on the open on friday xnet xnet lastly uh, xxii uh, got got uh, thwarted pulled back from this three dollar area uh 6.5 million shares though uh, if you can get above you know three and hold above it maybe an intraday uh, trade that could possibly lead into a uh, swing trade here on uh, double x double i all right, so uh, that's the watch list. Don't forget, I'm running this uh, 30 for 30 promotion, um, and you're welcome to try it. Uh, $30 for 30 days, and you can come and you can see our screen share. We get audio news into the room, and uh, we make alerts and calls. We also teach throughout the day. Um, so if you're interested in my service at Zozo Stockwatch, my name is Mike. Come check out my service. Hope everybody's having a very happy new year.